It's now 2023. The last year was full of amazing mega projects, but the year that awaits us looks like it's prepared to knock our socks off. From the tallest building in all of Africa to amazing Formula One tracks, on this episode of Built a Billion, we present to you nine of the most anticipated construction projects completing this year. And make sure you stay till the end because we saved the most incredible for last. If you love to hear about all the mega projects of the world, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 500 subscribers. It'll really help the channel. Tarananum, Azabudai District. This is a new super development in the business area of Onato. The vision of the project is to create a city within a city with three huge mixed-use towers and a public space landscape by Thomas Heatherwick. In 2022, the main tower with the uninspired name of Main Tower topped out at 325 meters and in the same breath became Japan's tallest and first super tall skyscraper. This structure is unique in that while most buildings get smaller as they reach the top, this one keeps its same floor plate size most of the way to the top. This building is so sturdy that it can be used as a safe shelter in an earthquake. If a magnitude 9 earthquake were to hit, workers could even keep working as if there were nothing going on but a light rain. Developers hope when this project opens in 2023, residents will enjoy the balance of skyscrapers and a low-level park with its hidden gardens and sunken courtyards. Iconic Tower Egypt is not new to the game of mega projects, just ask the pyramids. But these days, Egypt is building the Iconic Tower. Now that's a name. Take note, Japan. Work began on this structure in 2019, and it topped out in 2021 at 393 meters, making it Africa's tallest building and first super tall skyscraper. It's being constructed as the centerpiece of the business district in Egypt's new administrative capital. Basically, Egypt's capital of Cairo is extremely overcrowded, so in 2015, the government made the decision to build a brand new city in the desert. When the tower opens in 2023, it will be one of 20 skyscrapers in the district, which will all amount to a cost of $3 billion. Tren Maya. Now, let's head over to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico that has been a thriving tourist hotspot since the 1970s. The region is not only home to the luxurious Cancun, but also holds some of Mexico's most important Mayan archaeological sites like the Chichen Itza. But all of it takes a long, arduous journey by bus in order to get to, and so the solution is Tren Maya, a $10 billion, 1,500-kilometer railway designed to connect major tourist sites with airports and coastal cities. It's an ingenious way to further develop arguably the most important sector of Mexico's economy. The fact that the railway will be demolishing a huge part of the jungle has led to legal fights and delays though, with everything hoping to come together by December 2023. The economic benefits that the train will bring will settle any disputes over its cost, but the environmental cost will most likely be a point of contention for the foreseeable future. Tunrazak Exchange Back in 2010, the Malaysian government came up with a plan to develop Malaysia into a high-income country by 2020. And here was the main part of their plan, the Tun Razak Exchange. It's Malaysia's first dedicated international finance hub inspired by Pudong in Shanghai and the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. The Tun Razak is a 70-acre district with 2.5 million square feet of office space, a 2 million square foot mall, and almost 4,000 homes. COVID added many delays to construction. However, in 2022, the Exchange 106 was completed and is set to be joined by two massive residential blocks named The Core and TRX in 2023. In addition, the Exchange TRX, a luxury shopping mall and lifestyle hub, will be completed as well. For Frankfurt. This is a new development featuring, of course, four towers in, well, Frankfurt, Germany, obviously. For Frankfurt will create a mixed-use neighborhood 
with offices, hotels, and residential apartments all within its towers. To add a little spice, each of the four skyscrapers turn away from each other at strategic points to maximize sunlight and create more views for all occupants. Furthermore, each structure needs a different configuration for toilets, drainage pipes, and columns. This means each concrete core had to be built differently, but it seems as though the workers pulled it off as everything is on schedule to open in 2023. Las Vegas Grand Prix Fasten your seatbelts, folks. This year, the Las Vegas Grand Prix starts its engines. In November 2023, we'll see some of the fastest cars in the world race down the Las Vegas Strip on a 6.12 kilometer route that will take drivers around 17 corners and three high-speed straights. These cars will reach speeds of 212 miles per hour. 4,000 barriers are being constructed that each contain 3.5 tons of reinforced concrete to make sure the racing stays on the track. How this will fit into the busy traffic flow of Vegas beats me, but I guess we'll see in November. MSG Sphere Las Vegas has been known for its recreations of Manhattan, Paris, the Coliseum, and Venice, but I think they realized it was time for something a little more original. The MSG Sphere is an immersive cinema that opens in 2023. At 100 meters tall and 160 meters wide, it's the largest spherical structure on Earth. This behemoth is made of four concrete cores tied together by reinforced steel and tension ring beams make up the 11,000 ton roof. The curved cinema screen, however, is 19,000 by 13,500, which made the cost of this sphere $2.2 billion. I hope it was worth it, Vegas. SeaWorld, Abu Dhabi. Of course, the UAE had to be on this list. They're building something new every other day. The country already has the world's tallest building, world's deepest pool, and a conglomerate of islands shaped like the world. And very soon, the country will have the world's biggest aquarium. Upon opening in 2023, SeaWorld Abu Dhabi will hold its marine life in 58 million liters of artificial ocean. And just imagine watching the exhibitions on the Endless Vista, a 20 meter high window stretching over several levels. Natural light will be allowed into the tanks to support marine life while limiting algae growth at the same time. And the tank will be made out of acrylic. This substance is 17 times stronger than glass and more pliable, which allows it to be bent into different shapes. I wonder what's next for Abu Dhabi? The world's biggest toilet, perhaps? Paris Aquatic Center The Olympics is one of the most honorable sporting events a country can host. Countries usually become chosen for the event due to huge development plans, but in recent years, there has been much criticism due to structures being built for the event, only to become completely useless later. But the Paris 2024 Olympics will try to change that with sustainability. Enter the aquatic center set to complete in 2023, and is incredibly the only permanent building constructed for the Olympics. The roof is being constructed at the minimum allowed height in order to create a smaller space that requires less heating. 90% of the building's energy will be met by renewable resources, with a quarter of it coming from the roof alone. When it comes to being green, count on Paris to show you how it's done. What do you think about these mega projects being completed in 2023? Let me know in the comments below. I have another video on mega projects under construction in 2023 and that should be on the screen. So click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built a Billion.